All right, everybody. So say hello to Rei Chiquita. And now we will be seeing the anniversary characters of this year, so of, Le of Bleach Brave Souls. So yeah, let's. The Brave Souls team. Today, I'll be introducing two. We are having Kempachi and uh, Grimmy. Which will be releasing on the 19th of July. The first character in this summons is Kempachi. Kempachi is a speed attribute character with the new. I mean, just 12 percent. He's a. What is this icon? What is this icon? Why is Pada Plus? I mean, that's new. That's like a new killer effect in which you can kill Spadas and you have also killer effect for our rankers or what? Espada Killer Plus. His soul trait is Strong Attack Recharge Time Reduction. He is a melee, strong attack type character whose normal attacks, strong attacks and special move can inflict both weaken and lacerate. Plus, he has the new EX. I mean, the fact that he has both weaken and lacerate makes him amazing for inheritance trials, guild quests, limit breaker quests. He could be a real monster. He could be a real monster. The issue here is that the killer effect is like, dude, could be better, could be, could be freaking better, because it's but, um, Besides skill quest, when are you going to use Spada killer effect, Senkaimon? X move, massive spiritual pressure boost. His you could have put like I don't know. Affiliation. Actually, actually, not no affiliation. For no affiliation, you have only like Macy. You you could have put no affiliation on Kempachi. What a wasted opportunity. Or even a stern reader with double killer with Quincy. That would have made more, more sense. Now that I think about it. Oh my freaking god. They are just sleeping on this. A sprinter plus one, Havoc, an Herbator, and Lacerator. I like this. Lacerator every five seconds. Here's a list with the rest of his. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Devastation, a strong attack cooldown for him is 40%, but uh, for the rest, uh, when he's used as a thing, 12. Don't know why, but okay. He resists weekend, frenzy plus three. Pretty cool. Flame Super 3. Debilitator. And he has increased status ailment chance against the rankers as a whole, our rankers as a whole. So he could also be used in guild quests of our rankers, besides uh, Bambi and uh, Quill Game. Also in limit breaker quests. Interesting. That's interesting. A rankar now, it is pretty buff with uh, Kenpachi, Bambi, and uh, Kilge. Now, let's see. The... Wait, 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 wait. We can defense, poise break, except Brevals, of course. He's not a Brevals character. Poise... But this is interesting. Poise break is uh, like a new new skill, I think. More other. And status, ailment, spiritual pressure boost 80%. The only thing I don't like about this guy is that he, he doesn't have a double killer, but uh, I mean, he he has this, so I mean, it's all right. And uh, the fact that he has no any resistance, I mean, any status element resistance. I, I think that uh, anniversary characters should always have full status immunity. That's what I think, that's what I feel. So yeah. His character in action. He will be particularly useful in guild quests where melee attack type characters with Espada Killer inflict extra damage as he has the new Espada Killer Plus, which boosts the damage inflicted to Espada affiliation enemies even further. Not only that, but you can inflict higher damage to enemies that have been inflicted with a status ailment. As he SA3 has looks crazy. Status ailment spiritual pressure boost 80%. One of his standout points is that you can still inflict great damage to enemies that have not been inflicted with a status ailment as he has the skills Frenzy Plus 3 and increased strong attack damage 100%. Plus, you can increase his spiritual pressure by an extra 100% for 10 seconds by activating his new EX move, Massive Spirit. Think about this. 
you're in a limit breaker with Kenpachi. You put laceration and weakened defense on the enemies. You have your spiritual pressure boost of 80% because of that. And you get your X move so that you get a hundred extra percentage of spiritual boost during uh, 10 seconds. You'll be demolishing, literally demolishing. This guy just made uh, Bambiera looks like a joke. And Bambiera is pretty good. And Quilgate, both Bambiera and Quilgate, they are pretty good. But the fact that he can have all those spiritual pressure boosts laceration, weakened defense, etc. He may look pretty interesting. The only point here is that he has no any status ailment resistance. So that's that stage. That stage for me. You will be able to reduce enemy's damage output and inflict both weaker every few seconds thanks to his innate skill and evader plus lacerator every five seconds. You will even have an easier time inflicting Arankar enemies with status ailments thanks to his skill increased status ailment chance against Arankars. Finally, you will be able to use him in this a really looks awesome. of this really looks Not very awesome. Can he deal massive damage, but he also has skills such as Marauder, allowing his attack to ignore enemy melee attack resistance and guard. Poise break, except brave battles, which allows his attacks to ignore enemy poise and weaken defense, which adds a defense debuff ability to a special move. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. The special move is crazy. The special move animation is crazy fire. And Grimm is very well designed. Just look at his face expression, his hands. He's very well designed. Grimmy is a technique attribute character with the new Hollow Killer Plus. No traits are in. You are. Ah. Oh. I was about to rant. I was literally about to rant because I just saw this a strong attack damage plus 20% and I was saying like Grima Joe has 35% but okay two 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 soul traits so acceptable acceptable I, I will take this I will gladly take this this is the most important guy of this anniversary, not necessarily Kimpachi because Kimpachi is a speed character. So yeah, you you already have Nuhana, you already have Macy, you already have um, uh, Senjumaru. But yeah, Kimpachi will be of course awesome. But uh, speed is already pretty buffed, pretty stacked. Yet uh, technique is just lacking. Technique is awful. It's the worst attribute of the game at this very moment. You can only save. Uh, Bambiera, Quincy Ichigo, um, Ichibe. I think that's mainly it. Those three characters. What can you say besides that? Maybe a Rangiku, but Rangiku is essentially meat. So yeah. I mean, this guy. This guy is very, very important strong for technique. Damage and strong attack recharge time reduction. He is a ranged, strong attack type character whose attacks can only inflict both paralysis. And this is amazing. Paralysis and drain at the same time. No. That's the thing Bambiera was lacking. She has no drain. But uh, she has a lot of paralysis and laceration. That's that's cool, but with drain, it will be awesome. And drain. Plus, he has the new EX move, who's plus and wide. What's the killer? His soul Hollow plus once again hollow for real. Every single character is a hollow killer. Put no affiliation. All traits are in type character whose attacks can only inflict both paralysis. Affiliation human? I, I don't know, but he always hollow or EX double killer. Who's plus debuff wide range attack. His innate skills are. Okay, sk sprinter plus one, havoc, dodge, hollow damage. Oh, okay. I mean, you will be playing this guy like manually, so. And he can play himself just automatically. So I. I don't like this kind of, of, of skills. I mean, it's like a, 
I lose, I lose a slot for another skill. Sprint plus one, Havoc 20% and Dodge Hollow damage 50%. Trunk attack 70%, Kempachi had 100%. Look at this. This is actually anniversary material. This is actually anniversary material. This is actually anniversary material. Complete status immunity. Team power increase Queen's strong attack damage. Frenzy, Bombardment, Debilitator. With the rest of his skills. Now, let's. Wait, 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 wait. Status ailments. Ailment reversal. So when you are trying to maybe, I don't know, like poison this guy or paralyze, paralyze this guy or like whatever, born, whatever, you are the one that's getting the status ailment. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. This game is going to be a beast. Increase Quincy damage to a status ailment affected enemies. That's awesome. Weekend defense, sharp shooter, status elements, a spiritual pressure boost, plus the spiritual pressure boost of the AX move. This, this guy is going to be amazing. With strong attacks and special move, even without inflicting status ailment. Thanks to his soul traits, increased strong attack damage and strong attack recharge time reduction, as well as his skills Frenzy plus 3 and Bombardment plus 1. Plus, having two soul traits will make him useful when used as a character link. As all his attacks can inflict both paralysis and drain, he can drain his enemies' stamina while stopping them in their tracks. He will also be able to inflict hollow enemies with status ailments with ease, thanks to his skill, increased status ailment chance against hollows, as well as the high hit. Why are you dodging if you had complete the status ailment? Uh, immunity. Is his ability to help out his Quincy affiliation team members, as he has the skills team slash party, increase Quincy's strong attack damage 20%, and team slash party. Increase Quincy damage to status ailment affected enemies 30%. On top of this, his EX move, boost plus debuff, wide range attack, will inflict damage straight ahead and around the character, giving him the chance to inflict paralysis and drain. But that's not all. This EX move will also boost your team and debuff enemies, making it an incredibly powerful attack. Killer plus. When he performs the EX move, he both. He both uh buffs himself and debuff the enemies. That's crazy. That's literally crazy. He will be able to withstand status ailment traps thanks to his skill, complete status immunity, and recover stamina when enemies trying to inflict status ailments. Thank complete status Hello. immunity and recover stamina when enemies trying to inflict status ailments. Thanks to the skill, ailment That's crazy man. Reversal. Look at this! When enemies trying to inflict status ailments, thanks to the skill ailment reversal. Finally, That's crazy. This high damage output in high difficulty quests that have hollow affiliation enemies, such as the limit breaker quest and guild quest. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of four ranged attacks. I mean, hollow guild quests can be done like by itself. Jukabak, Mugetsu, Remy. Now, the strong attacks. Thank you. Attack one deals damage straight ahead. Attack damage. Attack goes to the screen. So Finally, a special move. The strongest Quincy. So and that wraps it up for Grammy. And those were the character intros for the 9th Anniversary Special Xena Summons. As already mentioned, this summons will be available from the 19th of July, so check it out when it comes out. See you next I mean, the anniversary looks cool. It, it was obvious it was Kenpachi. It was completely obvious. We are going to have Kenpachi. We were going to have Kenpachi. Uh, but um, to me, it was interesting to see that they also put Grammy because they were asking for just one character in their campaigns, not two characters. Actually, the, the terms and conditions said uh, if you put more than one character, you are automatically, automatically disqualified. So yeah, to me, it was a surprise to have both of them. Um, if they actually do a second part of the anniversary, then it should be to me. Uh, Bankai Rukia, as not for standing, and uh, if you want to put a third character, just put Byakuya there. 
just because it is Byakuya. Yeah, just put Byakuya there because it is Byakuya. But Bankai Rukia and as not false standing should be there in the second part of the anniversary. So yeah, I mean I'll gladly go for Grammy. And of course I, I want Kimpachi. Of course I want Kimpachi, but uh, I I may still I may be still playing with Yonohana, but yeah, I want Kimpachi. But Grammy, I definitely want Grammy. I totally want Grammy. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the anniversary characters. And uh, say goodbye to Ray Chiquita.